Hello and welcome to week seven of personal branding. This week I'm going to do an overview of your interview assignment. This is one of the major projects for the course. It's worth 10% of your grade. And what the student learning outcomes, the reason of behind this assignment is I want you to kind of learn how to find and build a relationship with a business professional, whether it's through networking, um, I know you can't really do too much networking right now with COVID, a referral, maybe it's someone you know, or through LinkedIn, just finding someone on LinkedIn. Uh, learn more about a company that you have an interest in as a future employee. Learn the responsibilities of a director level position, the pros and cons, because it's not all fun and games. Practice business etiquette, your elevator speech, and professional communication. So elevator speeches, that lecture is actually gonna be in week eight but I encourage you to look at that ahead of time before you uh, do your interview with your director level uh, interviewee. So some real life examples here. I did something similar in grad school at a, a, another extent. And like I've said before, always use the student card. If you ever want to learn something or get an in to talk to someone or meet someone at a company, say you're a student. People love working with students, they love helping students, and they love building relationships with students. So when I was in grad school, there was two companies that I was interested in working for. And those two companies were the San Diego Humane Society and Carl Strauss Brewing Company. And yes, we did have an assignment to do an interview and, you know, with one of the owners or director level positions. But at the same time, I wanted to know, get a better insight of what it was like to work for these companies because I had an interest. And it was a good way for me to, to get to know someone one on one. So I contacted Stacy Zietland. I found her on LinkedIn and just sent her a message. She responded back. Um, and you know, I said, I'm a student at Cal State San Marcos. One of our projects is to interview someone at a director level position at a company that interests us. I have a big, I, I'm a big believer in, in, in what you guys do, your mission statement at the San Diego Humane Society. I'm a huge pet pet advocate, pit bull fan, you know, I have dogs, blah, blah, blah. She's the vice president for the community engagement at the time. I think she might be something different now, but yeah, she's pretty high up there. And she said, sure, come on in. I'll give you a tour of the facility and we'll do an interview. I said, great. So I came up with a list of questions that I wanted to know about her, her position, community engagement vice president, how she got there, what's the everyday life like, what's her work-life balance like, um, just building a relationship with her and kind of get a behind the scenes look at the San Diego Humane Society and maybe some tips from her on if I wanted to be in her position one day in the future, what was the best way to get to that level? So I met her in person. She gave me a tour, super friendly lady. I met with her and spoke with her for about an hour. It was great. We got to know each other. Um, I took all my notes. I went back and I only had to write a paper on one company, but I actually interviewed three companies that I was interested in working for because I used that student card. So I learned a lot from her. And fast forward three years later, one of my clients that's a nonprofit, uh, they ended up partnering with the San Diego Humane Society, who is also considered a nonprofit. And Stacy and I got to work on a few events together. I did the social media for my client and she would, you know, in charge of community engagement for the Humane Society. And we actually worked a few events together and worked a campaign together in 2018. And it was amazing just to see her again. She totally remembered me. She loved working with me. And still to this day, we're still connected on LinkedIn because you just never know what's gonna happen in the future, right? So it was really great that I had to do that with her. The second company that I interviewed was Carl Strauss Brewing Company. For all my beer fans, we know it's one of the largest beer companies out there. It was one of the first ones in San Diego with craft beer. And I got to interview Matt Ratner, who is actually the co-founder and co-owner. There's two co-founder, co-owners. Uh, co Matt had a very busy schedule. I reached out to him because my mentor during the time knew him, got me his email address, and did an email um, introduction. And Matt responded, he said, sure, I'd love to meet with you sometime. He unfortunately had a very hectic schedule, so I couldn't meet with him in person. So it had to be a conference call, but that's totally okay. I was fine with it. We had a good talk. I wanna say it was almost an hour and a half talk, conference call over the phone. He gave me so much insight on his background. The two co-founders, co-owners are actually met in grad school at Stanford University where they got their MBAs. So that just really meant a lot to me at the time because I was pursuing my MBA. And to know that these two are brilliant people to get MBAs from Stanford started a brewery company. And look how successful it is today, right? 
So that this is actually the company I ended up writing my paper on, and I just had so much fun talking to him. And he actually said, "Hey, you know, um, I'd love to hook you up with some beer. Why don't you stop by, you know, the headquarters next week?" And told me the date and time, and he had two cases of beer for me. Um, when I went and picked it up just for the heck of it. I was like in heaven, you know, because I'm a beer, beer drinker. So those are real life examples of how they have helped me in my career. And so now I'm making you guys do it. Obviously, you don't have to write as big of a paper because you're not in grad school, but it's just a great way to, to meet someone at that director level. Um, another thing that happened to us in grad school at Cal State San Marcos is they had a lot of guest speakers come in that were at director level and spoke to us about what it really is like to be a president of Tri-City Medical Facility, um, a president of Viasat, just like head honchos. And it's not all fun and games. And it's really interesting to hear their honest perspective on what they have to go through to be at that position. Yeah, they're driving fancy cars, living million dollar homes and have um, money, you know, the biggest paychecks, but is it all worth it? You know, maybe it is, maybe it isn't. It's really neat to know the honest truth of what it's like to be a director. So your interview assignment is, each student will be interviewing a director level or above professional from a company of their choice. So you guys choose someone. I recommend staying in San Diego County. It's probably the easiest. Uh, Zoom interviews are preferred. I have been doing a ton of Zoom interviews the past four months uh, because I write blogs for my clients. So I do a lot of zoom interviews and it's just better because you get some sort of human interaction having that video on your hands are free so you can type and take notes at the same time you can record the conversation the video so that if you need to go back you're like oh shoot i forgot what he said i wanted to use that quote in my paper you have it recorded so highly recommend doing zoom interviews however during this time with covid um if you can get a phone interview and that's all you can get from the person, that, that, that'll be sufficient enough for this project. But if you can, try to schedule a Zoom interview. I mean, if you really can right now, which I doubt you can, do an in-person interview. But I know a lot of places you can't do that right now. So what is a director level position considered? It's not a supervisor, it's not a manager. It's above and beyond that. It's uh, an owner, a co-owner, a president, a co-president, a CEO or C-suit title. CEO stands for Chief um, Executive Officer, so anything with the C-suite title. Senior Vice President, Vice President, Senior Director, and Director. And no, you can't choose someone like me who's president of their own company and there's only one person working there, okay? So make sure it's a legit medium to large size company that you're interviewing. That's the point of the project, okay? If you're not sure of the person you're interviewing, shoot me an email and I'd be happy to assist you. Like, hey, no, that's not considered director level, or yeah, that will work for the project. So students must produce the questions themselves. If you look in the assignment that's updated to Cougar Courses, I do have some sample questions, but I want you to come up to yourself because I want, what do you want to know about this person? What do you want to know about this company? You come up with the questions. This is designed to learn more about a company that could be a possible future employment, to learn more about the responsibilities of a director level position, creating a business relationship, business etiquette, and practicing your elevator speech. These professionals can be found through your current network, family, friends, or you can reach out to them through LinkedIn or other business organizations such as the San Marcos Chamber. You never know who your, your best friend's parents are, your best friend's aunt and uncle are, right? Start asking around. Ask your buddies, hey, what does your mom and dad do for work? You may be surprised what they do. So just a quick screenshot here, example. Um, say you, you were interested in working at Palomar College, either as a staff, faculty, or as a professor. So you, you do a little LinkedIn research. You find out who works there. You see who you're connected with, um, if you have any connections. If you find someone who has attended Cal State San Marcos and an alumni, even better, because you can say, hey, you know, I'm reaching out to, to an alumni at Cal State San Marcos. I'm currently going to school there right now. And they're probably going to help you a lot more. Um, I'm throwing this name out here if any of you guys want to interview him. Feel free to hit him up. He's a director um, at Palomar College. You can tell him your professor, Isabella Janovic, sent you to him. Okay? But not all of you guys can harass him for an interview. Okay? So don't do that. But kind of look under LinkedIn, like, who your connections are. If you guys are starting to establish your connections on LinkedIn. And again, those family friends work great. Or maybe it's someone at your work 
And you don't even really talk to the president at your company. Maybe you've only met the president at your company once, right? So try that out. Okay, so that's pretty much the overview of uh, this assignment here. Like I said, there's a Word document online um, on Cougar Courses that say, you know, exact details of what the paper needs to be, some sample questions to help you out. And this paper, it's a bigger project. It's due Friday, November 20th. So do not procrastinate on getting a hold of someone because they do have busy schedules and they need to be, you know, in order to fit them in, you know, you don't be last minute. Start contacting someone now so that you have time to interview them. This next, uh, what, seven weeks will go by very quickly. So make sure you give yourself plenty of time. And that's what we got for you this week. So um, be sure to check the next lecture for week eight on elevator speeches.